Okay. Now, in the East, in the old days, there was a point in the center of the brain, and it's not the pineal gland, it's in between the lobes of the brain, and it was called the secret square inch, or the house of the Jade Emperor, the dark pass. Now, what the, the practice was doing, there was a very specific way of routing the breath and the mind, the chi, through the brain, a very specific pathway. Now, what happened is that your mind actually penetrated this zero-point energy section of the brain, inside, the, between the lobes of the brain. When your mind penetrated, and the mind is like a form of energy, it allowed you to access this zero-point energy. In quantum physics, physics, they say if you take a three-meter square of a vacuum, it has enough power in that vacuum, that space, to boil all the oceans at one time. Now you think about it. Everything around you, air itself, the ether, is a liquid in nature. It behaves like liquid. And so in our brain, there's three points we call the dantians, the energy centers, here, here, and the abdomen. That these are vacuum points, are zero-point energy points. And so the old Taoists understood that if you could access these points, you had special power, special ability to help to awaken yourself, to understand nature, to really attain a higher level of understanding than the average person. Now, science, I have found, and I know some people at the University of Hawaii, some physicists and scientists from Beijing and China, that they understand by telling them about this practice that quantum physics can explain how the Taoist practice like the Red Phoenix or Kundalini will actually work in the body. See, it follows the natural laws. Now imagine, if you can, that you can tap this zero point inside the brain with a simple practice from the Taoist. And every tradition has it, so I'll just use the Taoist. They say in quantum physics and science, if you could tap zero point energy, you would have an insurmountable amount of energy to run uh, appliances, to clean the air, and vice versa. Now, when a person attains, say, the gold dragon body, rainbow body, that takes a tremendous amount of power to, to really open up the molecular structure of the body. And so what, the, what happens is that when that power comes out, it allows the matter to convert into energy. But even quantum physics say now everything is a hologram, everything is an illusion. Matter doesn't exist. It's pure energy, pure thought. That's why I always say mind is gravity. See, as a way of saying in quantum physics, nothing ma in the matter exists, only energy. Your mind is only energy. You're in a sea of energy. And so the practice allows you to experience that quantum field of knowledge and information that the common person can't access. But the Taoists, who are quite intelligent and genius, found a way to tap into it. So I like to teach scientists, if they're open-minded, not too scholarly, you know, here, you're a quantum physicist, take this and experience your quantum physics from a direct perspective. Why not? That's the best way. Why be a scholar when you can experience it? And that's why I always feel energized. You find the body regenerates itself because you can tap that energy of the zero point. You can, you can have a hundred people in a room and never dull never dim with energy, you feel more and more. You're this quantum field, this magnetic potential that comes from this vacuum is given to a person. It can leap. It can affect matter on the atomic level. It can affect the DNA. It can do so many things. So the scientists in Russia are experiencing that your DNA, which is activated by this, this field, has all of the information that will ever be needed. It's like a library. And they found out that in the old days, we did mantras, and we did mudras, and we, we did tones. They found scientifically that the DNA responds to sound, to light. They shine a laser on the DNA, and it keeps the imprint, even if the laser is turned off. The, the DNA actually emits laser-like coherent light. Now, I figure that each cell has DNA in it. Now, imagine if you're in tune, and you have the energy, the zero-point energy, when you say about the old people who could emanate light, that gives you a, uh, an idea. If DNA in each cell can emanate light, 
What if each cell in the body at the same time could emanate light? The gold dragon body, the illuminated body, the body of Ra. That's what they're talking about. So scientifically, they're starting to understand this. Scientists even go to, to Tibet to study the, the rainbow body and trying to catch it, how it works. So you see, quantum physics and the old ways come together. The old and the new, the east and the west. That's how it's supposed to be. The golden age, as people always talk about, is when the past and the present meet. And then the future is created. Man can go beyond technology. He can regain his powers.